zinc with copper. Zinc is essential for normal growth and development, for sexual function, hormonal production, and immune system. Zinc is involved in many biochemical reactions in our body. I have included zinc in a performance category because of its role in testosterone production, protein synthesis, and DNA repair. A daily intake of 15 to 30 grams of zinc is sufficient to maintain these functions. In one of the studies, 20 weeks of low zinc diet resulted in 94% reduction of the testosterone level, not to mention the strong association with erectile dysfunction and zinc deficiency. Being second most abundant trace mineral after iron, zinc is competing with other minerals, for instance copper, making it less absorbed. It means that you should avoid exceeding the daily intake of zinc more than 30 or 40 mg and think of adding a copper supplementation in a specific ratio to keep it not more than 8 to 1. The meta-analysis of two dozens of studies has shown that zinc supplementation significantly reduces total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Therefore, it may have the potential to reduce the incidence of atherosclerosis-related morbidity and mortality. In other words, patients with ischemic heart disease may benefit from zinc as well. Zinc is necessary for the release and proper function of insulin, hence it reduces risk of diabetes. It also increases the sensitivity to insulin, hence it helps to lower blood sugar level in patients with type 2 diabetes. There is evidence of zinc lowering blood pressure and sugar level in obese individuals with hypertension and diabetes. Suboptimal zinc and copper levels in elderly individuals may contribute to and exacerbate chronic diseases such as heart disease commonly seen with aging. In one of the studies, 50 mg of zinc sulfate were found to slow the progression of age-related macular degeneration. Zinc both topical and systemically administered is also included in treatment protocols for acne. Zinc plays a role in conversion of thyroid hormone T4 into a more potent form T3. Similar to zinc, copper also known to play an essential role in maintenance of blood sugar and lipid levels, creation of white blood cells, immune cells, but it also is essential for formation of the red blood cells, prevention of osteoporosis and collagen synthesis and repair of the connective tissue. Who may need zinc supplementation and who should abstain from it? First of all, low thyroid function, chronic kidney disease, vegans, alcoholics, and individuals with gastrointestinal problems, as well as a number of patients who are on medications, and those medications put a person at risk of low zinc level due its, uh, to its poor absorption. In some conditions like acne or treatment of diabetes, the dose of zinc may be higher, however, the duration of the intake in that case should be shorter. Consider this supplementation if you are an athlete or a person involved in regular physical activity, or if you are a male, especially an aging male. By the way, low levels of zinc are associated with higher incidence of prostate cancer. However, a long-term supplementation or exceeding the dose of 100 mg per day are linked to almost a three-fold increase in occurrence of prostate cancer. Hence, the moral of the story, everything is good in a correct dose and proper timing, not to mention as well that consumption of zinc supplements in a higher dose may cause nausea and abdominal discomfort. Zinc is a classical example illustrating the axiom that more 
does not mean better.